Hello to all students. Today we are discussing important MCQs based on the human reproduction. The first question is in menstrual cycle. Now the question is on the menstrual cycle and it is very important for the examination point of view. In menstrual cycle of 28 oblique 29 days, ovum is released during. You must know that menstrual cycle is of 28 days and the ovum is released in the middle of the menstrual cycle. That is generally it has been seen that the ovum releases on the 14th day of the menstrual cycle. So half of 28 is 14th. So that is the middle of the menstrual cycle. So beginning of the menstrual cycle, middle of the cycle. Okay. So question number one is having the answer B. Question number two. Loss of reproductive capacity in women after the age of 45 is called. So remember, a female gains the reproductive capacity at the age of puberty when the menstrual cycle starts, which is known as the menarche, and the reproductive capacity is lost at the age of 45 to 50 in the case of the females when she is not able to release the ovum. And that stoppage of the menstrual cycle is called as the menopause. Stoppage of the menstrual cycle will actually do what in the female? The female will lose the reproductive capacity because then she will not be able to release the ovum. So loss of reproductive capacity in women after the age of 45 is menopause. So question number 2 is having the answer C. Question number 3. Menstrual cycle occurs in all females. No, it's not correct. Mammalian females. Of course, it occurs in mammalian females, but not in all mammalian females. It occurs in particularly primate females of mammals. So primate females and rabbits. The answer must be primate females because primate, if you have heard about primates, is a order of the mammals. Fine. So in primate females, the menstrual cycle occurs. So answer must be C. Now, withdrawal of which hormone is the immediate cause of menstruation? When does menstruation occur? So, withdrawal of which hormone is the immediate cause of menstruation? Estrogen? No. FSH? FSHLH or progesterone? C. Withdrawal of which hormone is the immediate cause of menstruation? If the progesterone hormone is continued to be released, then it will not allow the menstruation. When there is a fall in the progesterone hormone, then only the menstruation occur. If you see your NCRT, then in that, uh, in the menstrual cycle section, uh, diagram is given where you can see that at the end of the menstrual cycle, the level of the progesterone falls, which leads to, which leads to menstruation. Okay. So question number four is having the answer D. Now question number five, many times this question is asked, LH surge. LS surge means uh, when the release of the luteinizing hormone is at the peak is called as the LS surge which causes the ovulation. Okay, so LS surge occurs during which phase of menstrual cycle? Menstrual phase? No. Beginning of the proliferative phase? Secretory phase or at the middle of the cycle? So always remember LS surge occurred during which phase of the menstrual cycle? So LH surge means when LH hormone is at the peak which is responsible for the ovulation and we know very well ovulation occur at the middle that is the 14th day of the menstrual cycle. So the answer must be at the middle of the cycle. Question number 5 answer is D. Question number 6. Phase of menstrual cycle in human that lasts for 7 to 8 days. Follicular phase, ovulatory phase, luteal phase or menstrual phase. See. The answer must be follicular phase. Why? Because first five days means one to five days are of the menstrual phase during which the blood flows and from the fifth or the sixth day up till the thirteenth day what happens proliferative phase or we can say it as follicular phase starts. So say for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and thirteen. Eight days. Okay. And as soon as the 13th day comes, then after that 14th day, what happens? The ovulation occur and that ovulation is followed by the luteal phase. So the 
phase of menstrual cycle in humans that lasts for 7 to 8 days out of the 28 days it must be follicular phase or the proliferative phase question number 6 is having the answer A now estrous cycle is the characteristics of estrous cycle is the characteristic of menstrual cycle occur in primate females ok but there are certain uh, non primate non primate uh, females in the mammals where the estrous cycle occur in place of the menstrual cycle so human females no mammalian females no mammalian females mammalian females other than primates or the primate females so yes mammalian females other than the primates show estrous cycle so question number seven is having the answer that is mammalian females other than primates so it is c okay so these were some important questions of human reproduction so thanks a lot for watching me